What's up, everybody? This is Stephen Robles from Apple Insider. You can follow me on Twitter at Stephen Robles. I'd love to hear from you there. What shortcuts, how-tos, or tips would you like to see here on the Apple Insider YouTube channel? Today, I'm going to teach you how to build another shortcut, and this is one of my favorites, probably because I use it the most often of any shortcut. I call it the Home ETA shortcut. We'll rename it whatever you'd like. But what it does is it gets my current location, the travel time driving to my home address, and it automatically populates a text to my wife with that information. And so you can set this up to go to your home if you wanna know what's my ETA and travel time from current location to home or for work, or you can have one for each. I actually have one for home and for work. And if I'm heading into work, maybe I'm running in a little late, that that shortcut will text my ETA within minutes to my boss or to a coworker. And then when I'm heading home, maybe it's I'm heading home from work or I just picked up dinner at a takeout place and I wanna let my wife know how far I am from home, I just run the shortcut, it automatically sends a text with my ETA in minutes. So here's how we build it, it's really short. If you just wanna download it to your phone and run with that shortcut, there's a link in the description of this video. You can click that shortcut, download it to your iPhone or your iPad, but probably wanna do it on your iPhone because that's the one that'll have your location most often when you're traveling or when you're outside the home. And you can download the shortcut right there and use it right away. But I also wanna show you how to build it. And so here's how you build the home ETA shortcut. So the first thing you wanna do is open the shortcuts app on your iPhone or iPad. Again, you probably wanna do this on your iPhone because that'll have your location. Remember, it looks like this S icon. You can also search for it or download it for free in the App Store. We'll put a link to that in the YouTube video description as well. But I'll open shortcuts and to create a new shortcut, I'm gonna hit the plus button here on the top right. Now, I'm gonna add a new action and I'm actually gonna search for street address. That'll be the first action and I'll tap that here. And this is where you would put either your home address or your work address, wherever you want the shortcut to get travel time to. So I'll pretend to put in an address here, like 1234 Main Street. That's not my actual home address, just so you know. But you do that city, state, and postal code. Once you put in that street address, hit the plus icon again, and now you're gonna search for get travel time. It should be the only action that has that title. And when I'm gonna tap get travel time, you'll see it adds this step and it will get driving time from the current location of this iPhone to the street address that we put in above. Now you can actually customize this by tapping the driving word and maybe you actually walk home or take public transit or bike ride. So you can actually change that option there and it will adjust the travel time to that form of transportation. So if you actually take public transit home more often, you can tap that. I'm gonna leave it on driving for now. Now the next step, I'll hit the plus icon again and I'm actually gonna search just for text. And I'm gonna choose just a plain text box here. And in this box, this is actually the message that we'll send to the contact of our choice in the last step. I typically like to have this text say, be home in, and this is where you actually use a magic variable. You don't have to know what that means. All you have to know is this little bar right here, which is actually scrollable, this horizontal bar, I'm gonna choose travel time. And what this will do is the text that auto populates, it will say be home in and use the travel time that it calculated in the step above. Now, if you don't want travel time and actually you wanna text what time you will be home, you can change travel time to arrival time and say be home at, and it'll just show the time. I like to do travel time, it does it in minutes, and so the text will say be home in however many minutes. And the final step of the shortcut, hit the plus again, and I'm gonna search for send message. And I'm gonna choose the send message command, and here it will send the text that we populated above to a recipient of our choice. And here you can tap recipients and search for anyone in your contacts, partner, significant other. And once you've chosen that contact, just one more step, hit the show more option down here. And this you can choose to show when run or toggle it off. If you toggle it off, it should send the text automatically without any action from you. I'm gonna keep it on because I do wanna see how many minutes does it actually think it's gonna take me to get home. 
Sometimes I actually have a little bit of a commute from work to home. And this actually helps me see, is there traffic going home? Because if that estimated travel time is a lot more than what I would typically expect, then I can tell maybe there's traffic on my normal route and I wanna go a different way. So I like to see when this thing is run. And then all I have to do is hit next and you can title this shortcut home ETA or maybe going home. We'll call it going home. And you can also see that Shortcuts is telling you, you can actually run this shortcut by just asking Siri. So the next time you're headed home, you can just hold the side button or say the magic words, going home, and it will run the shortcut, automatically create the text and send it for you or show it to you and then it will send. So now I've actually adjusted the shortcut with my home address and it's gonna populate a text to myself just so I don't bombard my wife with texts. And you'll see when I run this shortcut, it automatically Open the conversation of the contact I had chosen, and you'll see the auto text is populated here, be home in 17 minutes. I can hit send, and that's it. And again, you can run this with Siri also. So I'll hold the side button for a minute, and I'll say, going home. And there it actually runs the shortcut that is to my wife, and it will send that text, and I can hit send right there, from the notification. And that's it. Now, whenever you're heading home from wherever you are, you can send a text to your partner or significant other with your travel time automatically, and they'll know when they can expect you home or at work. Again, you can download this shortcut in the description of the video. If you just wanna click the link, download it to your iPhone and run it. But this is how you can actually build it, customize the address, maybe change arrival time or distance to. You can do all that in the shortcut. We hope you found that useful. Let us know what other shortcuts, tips, and how-tos you'd like to see here on the channel. Again, leave a comment down below. I'd love to interact with you there. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to the Apple Insider YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to get all the notifications so whenever there's a new video, you won't miss any. And don't forget to check out all the podcasts we have at Apple Insider. The Apple Insider podcast, I host that with other Apple Insider staff members that comes out every Friday. We cover the news, some reviews, tips, and all that. You can find that in the description as well. HomeKit Insider is myself and Andrew O'Hara. We talk about HomeKit devices, all things smart home. That comes out every Monday. And Apple Insider Daily, you can get the top Apple news headlines in just a few minutes, Monday through Friday. Links to all those podcasts are in the description and to the shortcut that we learned today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.